Hey guys, it's been about four days since my container was dropped here. I haven't done much with it yet, but it is supposed to rain for the next couple of days. So before I go any further, I do want to see if I can move it over here. Kind of like it's like dropped in the middle of the yard there, and I don't want to kill off the grass I got there. So uh, ultimately, I'd like to get it parallel to the existing shed. So not long after it was delivered on Sunday, I got it raised up on top of two 4x4 blocks. And I just use this low profile three ton service jack for cars. So to attempt moving, I have a 2,000 pound 12 volt winch, and it's got five, it's a 5 30 seconds, I believe, uh, steel cable on it. I have that winch bolted down to a 4x4, which is then staked into the ground in five different locations. And then that's just connected over here to a 12 volt marine deep cycle battery. I'm not really too sure how this little setup's gonna work. I'm half expecting it to pull this, these stakes out of the ground. When I had it dropped here, we had two separate stakes put in that we tied a big rope around and it took two pulls and it was pulling the stakes out of the ground and bending. So I'm hoping having the three extras will make this work. Now I did have a lot of interesting ideas, including putting it up on some logs and rolling it that way, but you know, I just don't have anything like that here. And where it's going is kind of like in the back corner area of the house. So there's nowhere really to attach a winch to. So if you look underneath here, the shipping container is currently resting on this support that goes about I don't know, it's maybe two feet long here, and there's one of these in the front and the back. Um, so I don't want to pull the container so far that it ends up landing on these two thin pieces of metal here and bends them. So I can only pull it the length of this support, and then once the end of the container is back here, on the 4x4, I'm going to have to lift the container again and move the 4x4 up a little bit. Alright, so I just have the winch cord going out and it's going around the holes in the corner and coming back to itself. Now, when a winch cable breaks under a lot of pressure, uh, I certainly don't want this thing to whip back and damage anything or hurt anybody. Uh, so I'm gonna take this big, heavy, thick quilt and lay it over top of the cable. And that will hopefully reduce any damage if the cable were to snap. Alright, so while that is working, uh, it is kind of pulling the shipping container in the wrong direction. And because my winch cable is in an angle here, the cable is rubbing against this wheel and it's starting to break a little bit. Uh, and I definitely don't want this cable to fray at all. So I may have to reposition this 4x4 so that it's at the same angle as the shipping container. Alright, I did move it about a foot and a half that time. Uh, so I advanced all the 4x4s. And this time I have the winch cable hooked on the corner closest to the house. That gives me a direct straight angle back to the winch. Alright, so that did get it moved quite a bit, but uh, as you can see, the, cor the far corner pushed out. Alright, so I've got it moved about three feet from where it was originally. I just went and put the 4x4 right in the center of it, regardless of the supports underneath, because it is resting on the edge rails as well. And now that it's a little bit closer and the angle is differently, I hooked it right around the center of the container. And you can see the angle is a little better on the winch as well. So I'm going to pull it straight like that, and I'm going to see what happens. And I forgot to hit the record button, but you can see that worked a lot better. Um, I need to advance the 4x4s again, and then I should be good with one more pull. I don't know what it's hung up on, but on that last pull, it actually rolled the 4x4 as if it was a round log. But yeah, it's now substantially closer than it was. 
uh, lined up with where the old shed is. And you can see from the backside, it's moved quite a bit as well. Uh, I just need to shimmy it towards the shed a little bit more. Uh, and I should be good to go. All right, so by jacking it up in the center with my floor jack, I'm able to use a third 4x4 as leverage and push it in the direction I need it to. Uh, So yeah, that actually works pretty well. So yeah, that concludes moving it to where I wanted it. It's about three feet away from the old shed there. And just as an idea from where I moved it from, it was, I can see the imprint of where the original 4x4 was all the way over here. Hopefully an entire video of me hulking the thing around the yard was interesting. Uh, if it was, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. Uh, the next few days will be nothing but rain here, so uh, it's going to be several days before I can start working on it again. But hopefully I'll be able to start working on the insulation next. Uh, thanks for watching.